Top three things you do to avoid burnout. Ooh. Go. Top, top three things. Fishing, oh. art, as in painting, and naps. Top three things you do to avoid burnout. Ooh, okay. Uh, rest often. Do something that I really enjoy, like for myself, like basketball. And don't bring your work home with you. Take a nap, go for a run. Uh, take a break from work, take a day off. Oh, I draw really strict boundaries. I do things that fuel me, not things that just are like boring. And I prioritize Sabbath. What well, I do to recharge? Well, I'm really extroverted, so I spend time socializing with friends and family. I don't isolate, and uh, so if I'm really tired and burnt out, I know that if I like take myself away from family and friends, I'm actually not gonna feel better after. I gotta go do something fun. People. What's the hardest thing about vlogging in public? Hardest thing is actually finding a space where you could do it comfortably. So here I am at Balboa Park. Um, We've been given a day off, actually. It's a sort of team building day. So we're gonna go to the museum today. This is really all about, you know, from Danny and the director is like creating a culture that kind of has this type of stuff built into it, right? We're growing in community, you know, people are our focus. So like, if we're gonna like talk the talk, let's walk the walk with our own team. Yeah. So that was also like, behind the heart of this as well. I'm expecting to see amazing art in the UK, you know, be blown away. I love, I love going to a museum, you know, I love looking at beautiful art that people create, you know, around the world. So those are the stuff I'm really looking forward to. feet hurt when I walk too much on concrete but I got the nice comfy shoes on today so you know I tried yeah. I tried I learned that I love San Diego I think I also learned that I just really enjoy time with the team outside of the office you know time to talk time to chat discuss other things that aren't work things I am always about discussing anything off topic outside of work. I really enjoyed um, the first museum we went to and just seeing how they were trying to incorporate a lot of this more contemporary artwork to support and draw attention to some of the more historical artwork. I thought that was really cool marrying and bridging of the generations. The yeah, contemporary yeah. and the classic. Yeah. yeah. Married together like in honor, one art gallery. Honor the classic, oh. but also um, attract the new generation. Cool. Market, it's marketing. Marketing. <laughs> always marketing. We're always <laughs> we're always sort of working. Always sort of working. Sort of. <laughs> it's a good thing. That means it's our passion and not our job. Over and out. Like and subscribe. Tap that notification bell. <laughs> Peace out. Come, come.